Hello, and welcome to Fire Engineering's Training Minutes. I'm Paul DeBartolomeo. In today's segment, we're going to perform a single point lift using the Hearst spreader to free a victim trapped underneath their vehicle. The first thing we're going to do is walk around to the passenger side of this car and stabilize the vehicle for the lift. Prior to any lifting, we want to stabilize this vehicle. We're going to work on the side opposite the lift first. We're going to place step chocks underneath the C and the A post, and we're going to put cribbing behind the rear tire and in front of the front tire. Okay? Placing the step chocks is going to prevent the vehicle from sliding away from it as we lift the driver's side. It's also going to prevent the vehicle from coming down as the suspension compresses. The blocks behind the wheels are going to prevent any forward or rearward motion. Right, we're going to work back to the driver's side of the car and select a point to lift from. A critical factor in this evolution is selecting the proper lift point. If we take a look at the vehicle, we have to decide what axis we're going to lift off of. Along the rocker panel here represents the long axis of the car. Across the hood would represent the short axis of the car. If we decided to lift from the front of this vehicle on the short axis, as the load comes up, the tires are going to leave the ground and our coefficient of friction is going to be lost. If there's any crown in the road that we're operating on, as the tires break contact, this car is going to try to find its neutral, which would likely tip our lifting device. If we lift off the long axis, we've already cribbed the opposite side of the car with step chocks, and the two passenger side tires are going to stay on the ground. That's going to increase our coefficient of friction, and the car is less likely to tip. Another factor we have to consider lifting on the long axis is where the weight is. Most of the weight in this vehicle is going to be favored towards the front where the motor is. So we'd probably want to select a lifting point that favors the front of the vehicle. If we decided to lift directly in the middle of the vehicle, we may get some teetering because all the weight is in the front. So it's extremely critical to really decide a good point to lift. I would say somewhere right along the low rocker here, favoring the front of the vehicle would be a good point to lift. All right, so now we're going to go over and we're going to see Tony. He's going to put an adapter on our Hearst spreader to increase our stability as we lift this car. To increase stability of the Hearst spreader, Tony's going to put on the foot plate adapter. We're going to apply that to the lower jaw of the Hearst tool. This is going to allow us to have a nice solid base to work off of and distribute the load a little bit. In addition to the foot plate, we'll put a small pad underneath the spreader when we perform our lift. Again, we want to have a nice solid base to push off of with this application. All right, so now we're going to set the spreader up under the car and we're going to perform this lift. All right, so what we're going to do now is come in on the driver's side and find our lifting point. As we stated earlier, we want to lift this car on the rocker panel ahead of the midpoint to compensate for the weight of the motor. I'm going to put a 2x8 in here as a base plate to disperse the load. Tony's going to come in with the spreader with the foot plate and position the tool for lifting. What's vitally important in this operation, just like when we lift with airbags, is that we have to stabilize and crib the load as it comes up. We're going to adhere to the rule that we lift an inch, we crib an inch. So Russ and Mark are going to come in and stabilize and crib this load as Tony lifts the car. You guys ready for lift? Ready. Lifting. Okay. Yep. Mark, cheers in. Good. Okay. Going to settle the load on the crib stack. Going to reposition the tool. Okay. Going to lift again. You guys all set? Ready. Ready. Lifting. Settle on to the trip step. Ready? You good? You achieve proper lifting height. Three points of contact. Ready for victim removal.
In this segment, we performed a single point lift using the Hearst spreader. What's important to remember is stabilizing the load prior to lifting and during your lift. Initially, we stabilized the load on the opposite side of the car to prevent the car from sliding. As we lifted on this side of the car, we followed it up with cribbing and step chocks, which is vitally important. This is a very quick and efficient way to perform a lift of this manner and extricate a person rapidly. I'd like to thank the Connecticut Fire Academy and the Commission of Fire Prevention and Control for allowing us to use their facility and their equipment. I'm Paul DiBartolomeo. Thank you for watching Training Minutes.